Then we come up front also for that back blade. There's supposed to be a um, a circuit breaker under the hood here. So this line here is for that back blade. And this is straight to the battery. There's supposed to be a circuit breaker in between here. So we'll walk back here in the tool crib and we'll find a circuit breaker that will need to go on that truck, which all the other ones have the circuit breaker. I got it right here, see, circuit breakers. The circuit breaker here. Um, don't buy the cheap ones off of Amazon because they break really easy. So we got this. Um, we'll have to make another lead to put in line here. Oop. So now this will go, or we can cut this line. We can cut this line in half. And then this one will go somewhere in that line. And then we have to mount this somewhere somewhere in there but that's that right there will be and then this this truck will be ready to go back out to the field and I think that's it for this truck so this truck he was coming from the other side of town he got halfway here and that that switch on that controller went bad so I was keeping the pump on sucking the battery dry so he pulled over and everything was flashing. So when on my way past on the highway, I noticed that all the lights were working okay. I did notice that. But um, I got over there. I was thinking all the lights are flashing pretty good. So if it starts, if it starts, it's it's something different. So this is this is what I came up with was that back plate was staying on, and I don't want to call a wrecker. So. That's that. And the next couple clips will be us fixing fixing this here thing so it has a, a circuit breaker in there because every truck should have a circuit breaker on the back blade. Uh, so if this type of stuff happens and they short out quite often because they get piled with snow, that thing will just, it just clicks off. So if you hit that button, clicks off, click back on, you got full power. So. That's that, and we'll do that. Okay, I think we're gonna mount this thing right there. All right, I got these two holes, 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 heels, holes, holes drilled out. Um, and now we can get this thing mounted in there. That one's somewhat tight or loose. And then we'll get that one in there. Come on. Just like that. And now we can hook this wire. this wire onto it's kind of needs to be bent or something maybe what we'll do is undo this one from here um, do that one from there. Take this wire off. And put this one here and here.
that one there and then this one will go here For a fact, this top one's half inch. Uh, that one's not half inch. That's probably 10 millimeter. I think that one's a 10 millimeter. super tight because if you over tighten it you will break it and then this cord which was just over there it was on the rack so I didn't have to make it so that one will go over there this one will go here This one will go right here. Because I didn't have one before. Why I didn't have one before, I don't know. Then these little rubber thingies go on the end, so just in case something tries to touch it. So now it's got power on, power off, power on, power off. So that's, that's that. Pretty easy. But the back blade should have those. Technically the front blade should probably have one too, but it never gets one. I don't know why, but it don't. So, on this episode, we fixed the plow that was just whining. It, you know, got stuck on with that switch that we fixed earlier. And then um, it would have been an easier fix if it would have had that, that shutoff switch on there that uh, we caught on the side of the road that it wasn't there. So, so we, we installed that. So, that's much better. Uh, that's the way the system is supposed to be wired, and it wasn't. Um, so thanks for watching, and I appreciate it, and you guys have a good day. Bye.